The limited quantities provision for surface transport is a useful tool which enables shippers to move their products without the application of many dangerous goods rules. By road, limited quantity goods do not require an ADR train driver, UN certified packaging or a dangerous goods note. By sea, the stowage and segregation rules are substantially relaxed but the goods must still be declared and accompanied with a shipper's declaration and packing certificate. To utilise the limited quantity provision, firstly we must make reference to the dangerous goods list of ADR, the European Agreement for the Transport of Dangerous Goods via Road, and, if relevant, the International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code. If a substance, mixture or article is allowed to be transported in limited quantities, a weight or volume is given in the relevant column of the dangerous goods list. This quantity is the maximum size allowed for each inner packaging or article. If a zero is given, the goods are not authorised for transport under the limited quantities provisions. Inner packagings and articles must be packed in outer packages with a maximum weight of the whole package not to exceed 30 kilograms or 20 kilograms for stretch wrap trays. The detailed packing requirements can be found in Chapter 3.4 of ADR and IMDG. Whilst the outer packages are not required to be UN certified, they must still be of good quality construction. Inner packagings of different limited quantity goods must not be mixed in the same outer package if they will react dangerously with each other. For transport via sea, for mixed inner packagings, the segregation provisions must be applied to goods of packing groups 1 and 2, but there is no segregation required between limited quantity goods and fully regulated goods within cargo transport units. Outer packages, such as fiberboard boxes, are marked with a limited quantity label and if they contain liquids, the this way up labels on two opposite sides. Overpacks are also labelled if the contents are not visible and in addition must be marked with the word overpack. For transport via road under ADR, the only vehicle marking required is a placard of the limited quantity symbol on the front and the rear of the vehicle or on all sides of a container if greater than 8 tonnes are carried. At such volumes, a vehicle is also assigned to Tunnel Category E, which would rule out travel through many of the London tunnels, such as the Blackwall Tunnel. Transport via sea, if no other dangerous goods are carried, the CTU must be placarded with the limited quantity symbol on all four sides, regardless of quantity. The marine pollutant mark should also be displayed if applicable. If other dangerous goods are carried which require the CTU to be placarded, the limited quantity mark is not required, but the marine pollutant placard should still be displayed. Under IMDG, a full shipper's declaration is required with the addition of the words limited quantity after the dangerous goods description. For help and advice on any aspect of dangerous goods transport, please contact the team at EcoStar Environmental.